This time with Apocalypse Auto, we get our hands on this 1987 Chevy Corvette with a 5.7 liter V8. We drive it 350 miles from Montana to Washington and trade it for this 1993 Lincoln Mark 8 with a 4.6 liter Mustang GT engine. It gets 280 horsepower and we get it for 800 bucks. This story starts about six months before our trip to Wasteland weekend when we just happened to find this Corvette for a really good deal and we looked into buying it thinking that we could try to clean it up and flip it to make a little bit of money for some future projects we were thinking about. We got this Corvette for $1,280, which we knew was a good deal, but had no idea what it was potentially worth. So we picked it up figuring we would clean it up and try to resell it to pay for some of our future projects. And I'm not gonna lie, of course we thought about making this one of our projects and chopping it up and making it look radical or trying to make it go faster. But once we found these receipts that were in the car that totaled $60, three hundred dollars we knew that we found a gem match windows heels manifolds oil pan and then twenty three hundred dollars for shock spark plug cigarette lighter hoses all the AC work cold and what do you crap. do with a corvette before you buy it you test drive it So I took this thing out and it is a riot. I'd never driven a Corvette before and this was my first time. So I really let it all hang out there. I was going around corners at 82 miles an hour and it didn't even squeal a tire. So I knew that we had hit the jackpot. So after we bought it, we took it back to Shane's house to look up online approximately what it could be worth. What we found was absolutely incredible. How did we get this? <laughs> Salesman, everybody walking by was like, oh, I have a Corvette as a cat, it's a new toy. Did you bought it? Yeah. Oh, like, you're about to give me a gift for it? Like, haha, I would say for that. We discovered that this Corvette is worth somewhere around $6,000, which is incredible because we got it for $1,280. So then we hit up Wayne to see if he wanted to do some celebratory burnouts in the new Corvette.
Yeah! Yeah. Look at that cloud. So after we got the Corvette all nice and filthy dirty, we had to go and clean it up at Shane's shop so we could try to find somebody that would want to buy this thing. And this is actually a can of spray dye we picked up. It's not just some spray paint. And it works really well at bringing your 30-year-old Corvette back a couple of decades. And then while I was working on the carpets, Shane was working on buffing the paint job on this thing, trying to bring a little bit of shine back to it. And it turned out pretty nice. Check this out. Here's a before and after of what the carpets looked like beforehand and then after the spray dye. It did a pretty good job. I'm going to get high on the drive home. Oh dude, yeah, you're screwed. <laughs> you better take the top off. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Pass out halfway there. Yeah, dude. That spray dye works pretty damn good. Dude, it's pretty slick. So finally the day came. We found somebody over in Washington that was interested in buying the Corvette. It was about 350 miles away. So the plan was to find a car in Washington that we wanted to buy and drive it back to Montana. So naturally, we went for the most horsepower for the least amount of money. That's not bad. Right, try not to drip. Yeah, you have to do split maneuver. <laughs> And that's based on my average of 16.3. Wow. Um, so once we're full highway, yeah, probably gonna go up. Which is pretty good. <laughs> so this was a pretty sweet road trip. The pass between Montana and Idaho is incredibly steep and windy, so we were looking forward to hitting that up. And the speed limit in Montana is now 80 miles an hour, which means you can easily get away with going, you know, 90, 91. No problem. You may be asking yourself what's up with the green tape on Shane's door and we had to glue a door panel back on and luckily it dried before we got to Washington so nobody was ever the wiser until I just told you right now. But. Once we hit the pass, lo and behold, there was tons of road construction. So, no speeding down the pass for us. And once we got out of the road construction in Idaho, the speed limit dropped. We're in Idaho now. No more 80 mile an hour speed limit. Oh, yeah. I, in fact, hit 55. Yes. This is blasphemy. And then, on our drive over, I was surfing Craigslist to try to find our car that would drive us back from Washington to Montana after we sold the Corvette. As I can see the Lincoln, right there, just leaning against it. Sure. Oh yeah.
So you might be wondering, what is this Lincoln doing in our Corvette episode? Well, when we went on Craigslist to try to find a cheap car with a V8 and as much horsepower as we could get, I was looking for an old Chevy Nova or like an 80s Fox Body Mustang, but we couldn't find any vehicles that we thought would be able to make it all the way back to Montana until I ran across this Lincoln Mark 8, and the guy originally had it listed for $1,200, which made me think that it must be a halfway decent car for a 4.6 liter Mustang GT engine with 215,000 miles on it. And when I managed to talk him down from 1200 to 800, I figured this might be our vehicle because for $800, this thing has 280 horsepower, or at least it did when it was brand new. Said like all the airbags work, so yeah, the airbags are new. That's like awesome. Um, yeah, all the bearing start moving, it's rubbing on the belt. A twenty dollar riser for The bearings were shot on that riser. Yeah, yeah, you can tell it looks like it's totally down. Yeah, it sounds good. After giving this 4.6 liter V8 a once over, we noticed that one of the idler pulleys wasn't rotating and so it was putting a lot of extra strain on the belt. We just had to run over to the parts store real quick, pick up a new idler pulley, and then of course a wrench as well because we didn't bring any tools with us because if you bring them, that means you're going to need them. <laughs> That's funny, he texts me, that car needs premium. <laughs> Dude, that thing is effed. Go start it. Alright. Oh, yeah. Listen to that baby rumble. It's been in Beautiful. So after getting the new idler pulley put in, we had to look up the nearest car wash to get the Corvette all nice and shiny new because the guy who wanted to check it out had been waiting all morning for us. Google it. Yeah, close this car wash. So when we got these things out on the interstate, we tried to do a little drag race, which was difficult with all the traffic, but I thought that this Lincoln would have a chance against the Corvette because it had about 50 more horsepower, but the Corvette was 700 pounds lighter, and the poor Lincoln didn't stand a chance. So after the Lincoln got its butt kicked by the Corvette, we went and met the elderly gentleman that was looking to buy this thing. After a quick once over of the engine and the interior, this guy liked what he was seeing, probably because of my sweet spray dye job on the carpet. Then we headed on over to his house so we could fill out some paperwork. Yeah. 
It was a fun ride over, oh. coming over the pass. Oh. Nice and windy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. My dad has been talking about getting a Corvette. Nice. For as long as, I mean, I was really little. So. Awesome. So this is really cool. And they just happened to be having a garage sale. So while Shane went inside to do all the heavy lifting, I stayed outside and looked at some junk. Three dollar pair of old school vice grips. That was a deal. <laughs> ah no. <laughs> I'll I'll waste some money out here. So after buying this street sign and a couple tools, I went back to the Lincoln to wait for Shane to come back with our dough. <laughs> One skis. Um, she's like, so where's your follow car? I was like, get that Lincoln. We just bought it. That's why. <laughs> what? They probably think we're insane, dude. Like, yeah, we were kind of glad it all worked out. Cause <laughs> what is out of here? We go before that thing lights on fire, and they're like, chase us down. We got a fucking Lincoln, and we sold the car, dude. How much money did we just make? Forty-eight or forty-eight hundred dollars. Oh my god, dude! Almost five grand. So cool. <laughs> that Damn. means we got twenty-eight hundred dollars to work on vehicles. And the whole family's like, "Oh god, this has been thirty years in the making." Yeah, so you guys don't have a follow vehicle? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> We're flying balls out. So yeah, let's go get food. So while we're sitting there eating our victory burgers. We have no idea what the future holds because this video was filmed before most of our other videos. The S10 Blazer, the Car Holland Motorhome, our trip down to Wasteland Weekend, they were all paid for with the money that we made off of this Corvette. And if you like what we're doing here, please leave a comment down below and let us know what you think because we've spent a lot of time on these videos and really we don't know anything about videoing or video editing wizardry. We're just having a lot of fun and decided to film it. So as we're cruising home in our new Lincoln Mark 8, we don't know what the future holds, but what we do know is that we just picked up our next project vehicle. And from all of us here at Apocalypse Auto, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I feel sad to lose the bat, but like, part of me is like, Whew. I don't have to worry about that thing getting hurt and breaking down. <laughs> right. Hold that yeah. over here, driving over here. It's like, oh God, what's that noise? That's a weird vibration. What is that? <laughs> what? Oh, vibration is just the damn road. Right, I could tell as soon as we got the, the thing was vibrating like crazy. Just get it work. <laughs>